What's going on guys? It's Stormwalk Studios here with another LEGO custom review. Today I'm doing a new review on my custom Mark 1 Iron Man suit from Iron Man 1. Um, I don't know if you can already see it or not, but he is in the exact place I needed him to be, and yeah, uh, why don't we move to him already? Um, this custom minifigure is probably the most time-consuming, detailed-made custom I've ever made. Uh, I really do like this minifigure, um, there's other Mark 1 suits on YouTube that you guys can check out that look very similar to mine, just a few minor details that aren't quite the same, but overall I just love how this minifigure turned out, and it, o overall I just think just the cut, the color design and just the uh, custom armor I put onto it and just the time and effort I put into it, uh, it really was worth it. Um, but anyway, let's move on to the minifigure itself. It comes with a, what used to be a LEGO produced, uh, Arctic hat. Um, it's also the hat that we can get with the new, uh, Hoth Han Solo minifigure, the, the sort of, um, toboggan he wears or something like that. But what I did was I sh I didn't quite shave it off. I more like cut off the bottom of it. And then we had a little hole there where the face is at. And I sanded down like the edges that were like puffed up where it represented the fur of the toboggan. And I went back with the uh, glue gun and filled in the, uh, I don't know, yeah, you guys can see that a little bit. But I went back and I filled in the back of it with a glue gun and went over it with rustic paint and went and did the designs. And next thing I knew, I had a Mark I helmet and I, I really do like how it turned out I think it turned out great but that is not the best part of this minifigure what I'd say the most time consuming part of this minifigure was the chest piece which is also the chest piece of the Lego minifigure Samurai and I will show you how I customized it and how I turned it into the Mark 1 armor um, I got a screw and an electric drill and I drilled a hole into the middle of the chest piece to represent the uh, core of the Iron Man suits. Um, basically the core that Tony uses to keep the strap no, uh, away from his heart. And um, I went back in the hole and I got rid of all the uh, scrap plastic and painted in the black to give it that 3D effect. And not only that, I went back and uh, put super glue on the shoulder pads to give it that more bulkier effect to it. And then also I went back and added a few more details including um, how much power the uh, suit has in this little Lego piece here. And a few minor little details around it. And then like the rest of the suit, I went back and painted uh, rustic paint over it. And next... Uh, it turned out being the Mark I armor, and I loved how it turned out. Um, to make the core look more 3D effect, like I said, I drilled into the chest piece. I got the torso of a random minifigure and like shaved off the printing of it, and painted a light blue core pe or a core sort of design onto the chest, to uh, so that when I put the chest plate on, it looked like the uh, core of any other mi minifigure, like this one right here, was lining or er, lighting up. And then, as we can see towards the arms, I put uh, arm, gu er, arm guards on, and that was to represent all the gadgets that Tony has on his arms on the Mark I suit, as well as the uh, um, flamethrower that he uses um, in Iron Man 1. And for the hands, I just use standard uh, brown hands because um, I'm pretty sure that in the Iron Man movie he had just uh, plain old um, brown gloves and, or black gloves. I wasn't quite sure. I just went with brown. And that was pretty much it for the upper body and the helmet of the uh, minifigure. Um, towards the bottom, as we can see on the hip piece, um, I took that off as well as the, separated the legs from the hip piece and painted on rusted, uh, rustic paint. Excuse me. And then to make the uh, minifigure look more bulky, I went back uh, with a glue gun and glued on some uh, more bulkiness or uh, more bulkiness parts to uh, the legs to make it 
uh, more bigger and since the Mark 1 suit is a very big suit it's uh, other than the Hulkbuster suit I don't know of any other Iron Man suits that were uh, that big and strong so um, overall and it was just a concept suit in Tony's uh, like 42 mark designs of the Iron Man suit uh, but anyway getting back to the minifigure as I said I painted the legs rustic paint uh, or a rustic color like a rustic brown that made, gave it a shine to it as well since it was made out of metal and I uh, went back with uh, black and silver paint and painted on the uh, knee pads as well as the upper leg uh, parts and the uh, a little bit of the feet as well we can see was painted as well and then I also painted the uh, uh, extra parts of the legs as we can see right here to uh, again give it that bulkiness uh, feeling to it and I also added a little bit onto the hip piece uh, to show just how much scrap uh, armor and metal that he put onto the uh, suit itself. But again, here's a quick 360 uh, view of the uh, suit. I'll show you guys the helmet again. I did not put that much uh, des detail on the back of the legs just because I knew that if I ever was going to uh, use the back legs ever again, like. I can't really move it up and down like the minifigure without uh, scraping off the paint and that's one thing I don't want to happen. Um, I just thought it would just be a problem if I added uh, details to the back of it because I figured it would just get scraped off in the long run. But anyway, uh, this is permanent uh, paint if you guys wanted to know. I use testers paint for all my customs. I would recommend it. Um, it's sort of expensive paint but it is also very good paint. Like it's. I used it on my custom Joker from the Dark Knight Rises movies and the paint just lasts for a while and I love the paint. It's it's very it's good for customs, I guess I'm trying to get to. But overall, I uh, moving back to the minifigure. I love how this minifigure turned out. It really does represent the Mark 1 armor very well in Lego and I'm just so excited that I finally completed my original Hall of Armor. Um, for my Iron Man series so that's one spot that is no longer empty and later on this summer I'm sure you guys can look forward to more Lego custom Iron Man minifigures from Stormwalk Studios uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this review and uh, keep watching guys I appreciate it see you guys